I mean, hi. Oh, okay. Hey, I didn't, whatever. Welcome to Kirsten Arts. This is my channel. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. So we're into the new year. Classes are about to start again. Yay. And I thought that I'd give you some advice, tips, things that you might want to know if you are becoming an art major. I was doing a lot of studio vlogs because I'm working on a few different things that I just wanted to put out there on YouTube. College is really a lot of my life right now. I'm a senior, so you know, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to graduate. I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to get out of there because you know, we don't want to be there forever. Today, I'm going to be talking about the things that you should expect when you're becoming an art major. Now, these are things that never even crossed my mind before I became an art major. These are just some things that I want to let you know so that you're not really caught off guard. Starting with a positive. This is something that obviously I expected being in school, but one of those things is learning things that you would never probably learn on your own. And that is one of the reasons why I think it is helpful going to college for art. These are tips that you should know. For example, my professor in my painting class told me that when you show a painting that you have to hang it properly. I didn't know that. I just thought you bring the painting and put it on the wall and be like, hey, look at it. No, you have to make sure that it is eye level to the average height. I had no idea. That is like so oddly specific. You have to make sure that you are using D rings on the back of your canvases and wiring it properly, but then also making sure that when you wire it, it will hang at the proper height. Who would have known that? Another thing that I was taught that I think I talked about in my last video was using black while painting your darkest value values is a no-no. Don't do that. Use ultramarine blue and burnt umber. I would have never known that unless I had taken a college course. That's an example of things that you'd probably never know if you didn't take a college course. Now that we have one of the positives, let's talk a negative. In college, they don't really teach you how to be creative. They just teach you all like the rules, I guess, about art. They teach you how to draw a box. And when I say a box, I don't mean like a cardboard box, literally four-sided box for like three hours straight. And that's why I kind of felt like I was wasting my time because it just seems so like, what are we doing? What are we doing? They just teach you, I guess, skills that you need to know so that you can build on top of the skills that you already have. They really focus on uh, proportions and perspective. And sometimes that means that you're going to be drawing boxes for four hours straight. But if I hadn't drawn those boxes, my proportions for full body portraits and things like that would be really off. I use a lot of those tips that I got in my own art, which I guess circles back into a positive. The only negative part is that they don't teach you how to like think out of the box. You might be drawing a line for three hours straight, but you're gonna have to be like, hey, this, this must be helping me in some way. Something else that I want to talk about that I didn't expect, okay. I feel like when you're an artist and you're in high school and you might be a little good at art and you know that you're a little good, your, your confidence is kind of high. Um, college will bring that down. College will humble you. It will be like, oh, okay. So all of these people got into this major for a reason. They're also extremely great at art. It's just a really humbling experience to see all these other people from all these different backgrounds, from all these different places coming together at this school and everybody is good at art. So when you're in high school, you're just in your town. You're probably not gonna come across the best artists in the world in your classroom in, you know, 10th grade, it's probably not gonna happen. But when everybody applies for this specific major and they're traveling hours and hours away to go to this college to study this major, they're gonna probably be good. You shouldn't feel like jealous or anything, cause if you do, you gotta look inside yourself. It just humbles you a little bit and it goes, okay, so let me back up, let me relax, let me take a breather and be like, okay, I, there's something that I can learn here. Sometimes you go in and you're like, there's nothing I can learn, I'm so good. And that's why you go to classes and you're like, this is a waste of time, why are we drawing boxes? I know how to draw amazing portraits. Everybody has to kind of calm that down a little bit. So that's nice. Ooh, okay, so I wrote down another negative, the supplies. They can be very expensive and a lot of your teachers are gonna hand you their syllabus on the first day of class and say buy all of these supplies don't do that don't buy all the supplies you might use it for one class one day for one project one day and then you'll never see them again just go to the next class and see what you need because I don't think that that's necessary especially with how expensive supplies are a lot of times you know you can negotiate a cheaper option or waiting to buy the supply closer to the project I'm just saying I actually had a teacher once this was actually a really great teacher I loved 
this teacher. She told us to bring a flash drive. Bring a flash drive to class so that she can give us our portfolio on this flash drive. Cause she actually made a portfolio for us of all of our work that we did in that class, which was very nice. I went to the store prior to class, probably way too late because I did end up being late to class. Brought the flash drive, spent about maybe $10 on it. You know, don't spend too much. And we didn't need it. She was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna do that. I didn't really even do it. So not that she didn't do it, but she wasn't going to do what she said she was going to do. Here I am stuck with this flash drive and it's open. I took it out the package already because I was trying to be prepared and we didn't need it. So make sure that you really need something before you go crazy at the art store. Okay, so we got another positive. Networking is really important. I haven't even gotten to the whole networking part of college where you're doing internships and you know, you're trying to get your name out there or you're just trying to find connections with employers that can possibly employ, employ you in the future because you want a job, you want a job. I was like, wow, this is like such an important part of being in college. Not just an art major, just being in college, you gotta network so you can possibly have a decent job in your field when you leave college. I think there's a lot of art majors who are introverted. I think, you know, the art department breeds introversion. It's kind of hard being an introvert and networking and talking to people. It's a great place to be surrounded by other people who are interested in the arts. You, you'll probably get an opportunity to talk with somebody. Anyway, my next negative that kind of was really getting to me when I was taking a lot of studio classes at once was how time consuming it is. People are like, art majors, what are you doing? You're drawing? Aw, you're drawing. No, I feel like art majors are the most misunderstood majors because people probably think, oh, you're painting, you're drawing, how hard can that be? It's not even the fact that it's difficult. It is hard. It's not the type of hard where you're like sitting in front of a textbook for hours and hours on end studying. I had zero time to work on projects because of how time consuming being an art major is. For an art major, my classes were about three hours long each. You have to buy all your supplies, your supplies, you're carrying your supplies and you're standing up sometimes the entire class. It's, it's not, it's not easy drawing a box a box on top of that when you go home you still have to continuously work on these projects that you might be like what am i working on i want to work on whatever it is that i want to work on but no i have to work on this project i have to work on this school project that may or may not mean a lot to me i there have been times where i was like so frustrated with like a piece that i was doing for class and i kind of just was like i can't do this anymore it's just really time consuming yeah time not enough of it you don't get enough for yourself, I mean. Quick thing, if you wanted to check out my podcast, it's called Introverts Talk 2, and it's on Spotify and Apple Podcast. It's for anyone who's introverted in college, not having a stereotypical college experience, doesn't have many friends, or is trying to make friends, jump out of their little bubble. It's the perfect podcast for you. So that's my podcast called Introverts Talk 2, again, on Spotify and Apple, and it'll be in the description below. It really forces you out of your art style. So if you do portraits, right, and I wanna show you an example. When I got to a painting class and our project was to paint abstract, I was very frightened. Abstract painting seems like such an easy little task. No, it is the most difficult thing that I have had to do painting. Painting portraits comes easy to me. Doing abstract really forced me out of my comfort zone. I had a great teacher that stood by my side and she's like, hey, it might not, it doesn't look great. She didn't say that, but you know, I could tell by her facial expression. But hey, maybe you can do this to tweak it. I didn't take it personally. I, I knew that it was something that I was learning. So, uh, yeah, this was the abstract piece that I did. No, absolutely not. I don't know what I got on that. Grade wise, I, I can't remember. It is what it is. It could feel like you're starting all over. Like you, you practiced art for years maybe, right? And you got good at it. But now it feels like you're starting over because all of these things that you learned like or you taught yourself aren't even being applied in this class. And it's just like, why am I even here? Why am I an art major? Why am I even doing this if I can't even show off how good I am? The point of being an art major is not to show off how good you are. It's really to give you these other little tools that you would have never gotten if you didn't become an art major or if you continued to teach yourself. Because if you continue to teach yourself, you probably wouldn't have put yourself out of your comfort zone. Would you have? I don't think so. 
let's be honest and kind of like going with the whole humbling piece it gives you like this perspective that you never really had when you're in classes they make you research current people who are doing art and you realize oh okay so if there's this many people super good at art at my school right how many people in the world are super good at art trying to make it it just allows it just humbles you i feel like it's always good to be a little bit humble when it comes to your goals i guess i don't know did that come out right i don't know i feel like i'm not articulating what i'm trying to say properly before i finish this off i want to give you a little tip from me don't be afraid i guess to show your teacher your current work well first of all one of my teachers was gladly telling us please show me what you're working on show me your work i would love to see your work me being the shy you know introverted person that i am was like she doesn't really care about my work like i'm gonna look like a kindergartner going up to their teacher be like hey look at my new shoes no i didn't want to be that i was like you know i'm not gonna show her my work she probably doesn't even care but there was one day i mustered up the courage and i was like hey um you want to see some of my work she was like, oh this is so good why aren't you a studio art major it's a long story i'm not a studio art major i'm a i'm like an art management major it's kind of you know other stuff and another piece of advice is that probably gonna have to just like stick it out i wanted to change my major a few times i realized that it's not gonna fix anything i'm always gonna have to do work that i don't want to do but i think you should just stick it out even if you feel like you're starting all over and you feel like it's not working or you're not learning what you thought you were going to learn i feel like you should just stick it out that's my advice to you yeah i think that's all the advice that i have for you today thank you for watching if you've made it this far i appreciate it if you want to follow me on my socials for my art account they are linked in the description below in my link tree as well as my other profiles for like my podcast i hope some of these things may have helped you or give you like a little bit of a idea of what to expect when you're going into being an art major or an art college and let me know if it does or has or will you think but thanks for watching again i'm done talking and i digress goodbye